what is up everybody this is jumping here and this is going to be mass effect 3 gameplay commentary where today i'm going to be using the harry geff engineer build which is the Cerberus harrier on the geff engineer now a lot of you guys been waiting for this a lot of you guys been sending me messages about this a lot of you guys been leaving comments about this but i'm finally going to, go going to show you this build and show you this gameplay um, I've been really busy with my Mass Effect stuff, as you know, so that's the reason why it took so long to come out. Now, the first thing I want to say is that there's two ways you can build this guy, depending on your play style. There's two ways that I like. The first way is the way I play it, which is a very aggressive, very offensive build. The second way is to be a more support slash conservative build for a more support conservative player so those are the two ways I like to build it I will show you both ways and I will put the other way the defensive way into the description for any of you guys who can't follow me very well but you will see the offensive build with your own eyes all right so let's go in and get into it and right, now the first thing you're going to notice about the offensive build is that yeah no turret and you might be saying, what the hell? Why no turret jumping? Well, the reason why is from my experience from playing with this thing, I never use the turret with the Cerberus Harrier. I just don't. I don't know why. It's because if I run into a room and there's three guys and I throw out the turret, then I, I'm going to have a long recharge time on the turret because this gun weighs so much. To me... I can kill things faster if I just run into the room, overload, and then shoot them all to death. Because the Cerberus Harrier kills so quickly, and when you have something like Hunter Mode and all the other buffs that the Gaff Engineer gets, it's crazy good. So, you just don't need the turret, honestly, on the offensive build. Like I said, this is for an aggressive playstyle, at least for my playstyle. So, no turret. For Hunter Mode, you're going to want... Power recharge, just uh, because this gun does weigh so much, this will help. Rate of fire, because it's you know it's a rapid shooting gun. Rate of fire is great, and then finally damage, which is going to give you 17.50% more damage with the Cerberus Harrier, which is godly. Now for your overload, because like I actually set this up a little bit different than I used to, but I go for now for chain overload. Recharge speed and then shield damage the shield damage will pretty much guarantee that you will take off any person's shield on gold uh, Besides bosses, so it's pretty godly. I do have to admit for your network AI. I recommend weapons damage power damage and then finally weapons damage and For fitness. I do like fitness on this one. I like durability shield recharge and fitness expert now here's the thing guys is that the reason why I use the fitness over the turret in this build is because that gives me the ability to go for more weapons damage and not only that but I also am able to actually have more shields for my hunter mode so I'm not as much of a glass cannon so it's kinda nice it's really cool now let me go ahead and tell you the defensive version the defensive version is just the total opposite Shield restore, recharge. Uh, for now, you're gonna have the turret on the defensive version. I forgot to say that. So it's gonna be uh, shield recharge, restore range, and then restore frequency. Um, these are just gonna help you and your teammates out a lot. That's what's the beautiful part. So I still don't like throwing out the turret with the defensive version either. But what you can do is you can throw it out to your teammates or throw it out ahead of you are in a very high traffic area that you're going to be going like if there's a room with a ton of enemies just throw it out next to you and then start shooting the enemies and overloading the enemies and that's all you got to do it's, and it's good because it's going to heal you and all your teammates so it's it's pretty nice all right now here's the thing you don't get no hunter mode no hunter mode yes no hunter mode you just don't want it on the defensive version you are going to be a more tanky geth with a Cerberus Harrier, and then you are going to be an offensive gift with the Cerberus Harrier. Now for Overload, for the other Overload, it's pretty much the same way. You can set it up the same way if you want. You could go Triple Chain. It's really up to you. I just like the shield damage, so yeah. Yeah, just same way. 
Network AI. Um, now, it's up to you. I recommend actually damage and capacity for the defensive version. That way, your recharge time is going to be better and your overload is going to be more powerful because you're going to lose damage. You're actually going to lose damage without hunter mode. So, this can help make it up. So, I kind of recommend damage capacity, but you still can go for weapons damage if you want. It's just up to you. Once again, definitely, yes, power damage and then also weapons damage. And then once again, for your advanced hardware, just all shields. And you actually will have, because of no, no hunter mode, 1,238 shields, which that's amazing. And when you combine that with the turret healing you every once in a while, yeah, he's just really tanky. It makes, it, it's a very good, it's a very good defensive build for the Gef, and it also works really well because the Cerberus Harrier really doesn't need too much of a damage boost. It's already godly. Alright, so now let me go ahead and uh, tell you about the equipment I'm going to be using in this gameplay. I'm going to be using incinerary rounds, assault rifle wear lamp, th probably three. I, this is two, but it's more likely going to be three. Assault rifle amp three, and then shield power cells. You, I recommend this just because you do want this. It's Because even though with hunter mode, hunter mode will mess up your shields. You know, you're going to have half shields. But it's better to have... A little shield than it is to have no shield so this will actually allow your shields to come back quicker and allow you to take a lot less health damage so that's just the main thing about the shield power cells all right so let's go ahead and get into the gameplay all right guys so this is going to be the gameplay coming up today is going to be actually something a little special you don't really get to see this much but we're actually going to be fighting against Geff um, I don't really upload a lot of Geff because of the whole Firebase White thing. I just don't feel like, I think that everyone plays against Geff so much that I don't even think they really want to see Geff. They all know what to expect from Geff. So, but in this particular case, I was playing Unknown Unknown, got Geff, got a pretty good gameplay against it. So I decided to use it. Alright, so anyway, um, let me go ahead and talk a little bit of, uh, well, also this is going to be Giant, Geff Gold. Um, I don't know why. I, I always get the same maps when I record. I just, I don't know why. But it's whatever. Anyway, now, um, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about, um, this build and about the defensive build. Alright, now this build, the first thing I'm sure a lot of you guys questioned about the build was the fact that it doesn't use the turret. Yes, the turret is really good. The turret's amazing. Uh, I know this. I use it all the time. But... In this particular build, I don't like it because I just, I don't, it, here's what would happen. I wouldn't use it. That would be the best example ever. I just wouldn't use it if I had it on the build. And if I'm not going to use something, there's no point to have it. That's like having incinerate on a build that you never use. Um, things like that. It, there's no point to even have it on there if you're never going to use it. But that's my play style. That's the way I, I, it's just the way I like to play with it. Now, I'll give you a good example why um, the turret is, in my opinion, no good on this build. It's because, like I said earlier, you can run into a room and overload. The, you know, you run in, you overload, you shoot them all to death, and they all die so quickly from the Harrier. If you threw out the turret, you your recharge time, because this gun is so heavy would take a while for the turret to recharge. Not too long, but long enough to the point where you couldn't just run in the room and overload. You have to wait a second to run into the room. Um, and then, yeah, you would kill everything, but it, by the time that you got done killing everything by shooting it, more than likely, to be honest, you just wouldn't, um, there would, everything would um, be dead before the turret would even, like, shoot it. Or the turret would even get its flamethrower going. So just because of those two things, I just don't think the I just don't think that you need the turret on this build. I really don't for the aggressive offensive version. Now the defensive version, and in this gameplay, my buddy Drew is going to be playing with the defensive version, uh, and he loves it because it's really it works for him really well for his play style. He is more of a conservative player. He doesn't really play that aggressive like me. So because of that, he's just able to. Sit back a little bit, chill, sh pick off enemies from a distance with the Harrier, and throughout the turret, uh, to, for himself or to, for his teammates, um, anytime they might need help, it's just what it is, and that's what's amazing. And a lot of times when I play with Drew, I, and I know he's playing as that character, I'll say, uh, "Hey, Drew, can I get a turret? Can I get your turret over here?" B 
because I need some backup, you know, something like that. And it's amazing. It's amazing when um, when that happens. So, like I said, it's more or less the two different builds for this. Pick it. Pick which one you want to play as, depending on your play style. If you play like me, or if you don't play maybe as good as me, but you do play aggressive, this is definitely the way to go. The offensive Geff en uh, engineer. Um, definitely a way to go if you play aggressive. If you like to sit back and chill a little bit or play conservative and and just if you like supporting your teammates, not necessarily like, oh, I got to I got to do really really well in the game and kill everything, but just just the fact that you know that you can still help your teammate your your teammates out a lot by healing them and by getting a ton of assists and you know, just playing like that, that's okay too. Every team needs players like that. They need support players and you need Slayers, I guess, is the way to put it, or people to kill enemies very quickly. That's just the that's just the way how it goes. All right. Anyway, but yeah, so this build is really good though. This build is amazing. I love it. Um, it the second I started using, it, I was like, yeah, this is definitely probably the best Gap Engineer build I have ever used. Just because I like the turret, I do. It's just I just don't the offensive version. I just I just don't throw it out. I just won't do it. It's just. It won't like with the Carnifex or with a pistol or or a very light assault rifle with something lighter, you can throw out the turret and in about one second your recharge is back. So it's just like you throw out the turret to all the enemies and then you overload all the enemies and you shoot all the enemies. With this, you might throw out your turret and it will take two to three seconds for your recharge to come back. You'll you'll not be able you will not be able to stun them when overload. And overload is an amazing power, so but if you don't get the stun off with the overload, it's going to be a lot harder to shoot the enemies and hit them properly. Um, that's just how it goes. So that's the, that's the main thing. Now, you might say, well, of course, the uh, Geth Infiltrator with the Harrier is probably better. And is it? Yeah, more than likely. But this still is a very good build. This is a very good tech, tech build if you wanted to use it. Um... Overload DPS wise, I think I think it's about the same when it comes down to just killing normal enemies. Maybe not bosses, but at least normal enemies. For this build, this Geth um, Geth Engineer Harrier build versus the Geth Infiltrator Harrier build, I think their DPS against normal enemies is about the same. Because I mean, when you think about it, all this guy has to do is he can overload an entire shield down with one overload, and then you just shoot the health. That's it, and they die really quickly. Where with the Geth Infiltrator, your proxy mine won't take the shield off of every enemy. And yeah, they'll take more damage, and you'll have 90% more damage, and you'll kill everything really quickly. But I literally do think it's about the same, to be honest, when it comes down to DPS um, versus just the normal enemies. You're, you're going to be able to kill everything really quickly with this. You, of course, can do tech burst, um, all that kind of good stuff. You could use Destructor Ammo on this gun if you wanted to. You don't have to use Incinerary Ammo. That was just for more DPS. I put it on there for more DPS. I Like I told you before, <clears throat> the best way to play with this, um, at least the offensive version, is to use armor piercing 4. Um, or just armor piercing on the gun with extended uh, magazine. That way you can just spray for days. And I have gotten some really crazy feeds with this guy where I'll just run into a room and in about 3 seconds I'll get 5 to 6 kills. I'll just spray them all down like a 6 man spray. And it's it's really really amazing, and that's just something you can do with the Harrier on the Gef, just from all the bonus um, weapons damage and stuff. All right, so that was the end of that wave. I don't know what wave we're on right now. I believe it might be wave uh, six. Let's see here. No, it's wave five. Wow, I'm really off. Uh, hasn't really been paying attention. All right, so this is the way. All right, this is gonna be the start of the wave with two uh, the wave with two actual uh, primes. And yeah, I hate primes. I, I really hate Geth to be honest, guys. I just don't like them. I just think that they're they're easy in some cases and they're really hard in other cases. Depending on the map and depending on the character that you play as, Geth can be just so freaking hard. Um, just how it goes. Um, but anyway, I do want to talk about something in this gameplay, and I don't know. I don't. I hope this won't piss anyone off uh, who's in the clan, but. I made a decision um, today. I was thinking about it, and from what I've noticed, now you guys who are on Far Chalinkus or Far Chump in HD for the clan, um, you guys may know that 
almost everyone on those accounts play Mass Effect somewhat consistently. Maybe not every single person, but almost everybody from my experience, from what I've looked at, it seems like they play Mass Effect a lot. It really does. Now, the thing is this, though. What I've noticed is that the people on Far Jumping, the original clan account, just Far Jumping, I never really see anyone play Mass Effect on that account. And I think I know why. I think because it's so old that most of the majority of the players who joined that account for the clan, I think that they were playing Mass Effect a lot back then, but now, you know, now it's been like five months, or well, it's been like probably three to four months or whatever it's been. And they might have just moved on. They might have just started playing Call of Duty or whatever it is. I just noticed that. I'll look off of Far Jump in HD to see if anyone's on sometimes, guys. And what will happen is that I'll see maybe... I'll see like 10 people on Mass Effect at times. Just depends. Um, if there's 20 people on, normally about 10 of them are at least on Mass Effect. Sometimes more. Just depends on how many people are actually on. It's actually going to be a really nice little rocket. Um, but when I look at Far Jumping, there's like two people on at the most. So what I have decided to do is to go ahead and um, pretty much uh, delete everybody off of Far Jumping, unfortunately. Uh, I'm just going to restart over that whole account. So if you guys want to be in the clan, if there's anyone out there who wants to join the clan, please do. Uh, just give a friend request to Far Jumping. That's all you got to do. Uh, I'll put that in the annotations in the description, all that good stuff. Um... Like I said, if you were on Far Jumping, I'm sorry, but just just give me a friend request. If you give me a friend request, you, that would be letting me know that you still play Mass Effect or something. Or at least tell me, like, no, I still really play Mass Effect a lot. Because I just don't see it. There's a lot of people on the, on, on, in the clan on that account that it just seems like they don't play Mass Effect. And the point of it is to, play, to find people to play Mass Effect with. So like I said, um, as of right now, I have taken off everyone off of Far Jumping. So, any friend request is welcome. Like you, that's all you gotta do to join the clan. Is just give a friend request and you're in. And all you do is you look off the friends list um, to pretty much see if anyone's online. And if they are online, you send them a message or you send them an invite and ask them if they want to play. Just tell them that you're in the clan or whatever, and there you go. Like that's kind of the point. That's kind of the idea. Um, and it works really well from my experience. It really does. Now, of course, this is Xbox only, guys. So, just remember that. This is not on PS3. This is not on PC. So this is Xbox only. And I, I've told you a while back that I was going to make another clan account. Why well, I decided, like I said, instead of making a new one, I'm just going to go ahead and redo that one. Because that one is just, um, I mean, it's, it's kind of a joke. And right here, I'm going to finally die. And I was pretty, I was like pretty pissed. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. Because that's the thing, I hate primes. They shoot you and you're just like, oh, 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 I'm dead. Um, and that's what always happens. And it's just annoying. Um, so that's just what it is. Anyway, guys, like I said, so the main thing here is just remember, if you want to try to be in the clan or whatever, just give a friend request to Far Jumping and you can be in the clan. If you're already on Far Jumping HD, I do not... Do not send a friend request to that account. That's just not fair. You can't be on two, three of the clan accounts. If you're on Far Chalinkus, you could probably do it. That that's okay. I don't really care. But it just depends. Like uh, depends on how much space we're gonna have. So hopefully everybody this time can try to. There's a lot of people who want in the clan. They can't get in the clan because there's not enough room. Hopefully those people can now go ahead and get into the clan. So that would be what's up. All right. So let me go ahead and get back to this gameplay. So. Um, as you can tell, I'm just wrecking, like, I've only died once, and it was really dumb when I died. Um, but that's just the thing, because this guy has fitness, and you, you don't have the turret, but you have fitness, it's actually, like, it's actually really awesome, just because, like, the, 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 um, with hunter mode and stuff, you have your shields, but when you have way more shields from the actual fitness, it seems like it just works out a lot better. Uh, the only other thing you could do, guys, if you wanted to try it, is to leave your fitness at 3, and then go for, um, actually, if you left your fitness at 3, and then you could actually go for 5 points into the turret, but, like I said, I just, I just personally never throw it out, so you can build this any way you want, but, and there's a couple different ways, but from the way I play, all I, all I normally do is I'll run around and I'll just overload and shoot stuff, like, 
that's the point and even against reapers this work well this works well because um you can overload banshees and marauders and you could just shoot everything else i mean this is what will happen you can literally just shoot brutes to death so quick with a build like this um same with ravengers same with um just any other enemy cannibals and stuff you'll just shoot them to death so quickly so it's amazing um anyway but as of right now um i believe this is going to be wave eight coming up and you know how it is guys freaking freaking annoying from this point on wave eight nine oh man i hate gaff on these waves this is actually i think another really dope ass rocket i, I yeah i just really hate gaff on the later waves just because i hate dealing with two primes i think that in my opinion well i don't know but in my opinion i really hate the primes the most um i'm sure a lot of you guys can say well of course the banshees are the worst which they probably are the worst but I, personally, I hate Primes the most. Like, don't ask me why. I just don't. A lot of people act like Primes are nothing. But to me, they're just annoying. Like, they might not be that strong. They might be easy to kill. And they might be dumb as hell. But they just, they always shoot me. Like, like, like I don't know. Like, most, a lot of bosses, you know, most bosses will just shoot anybody. But the Primes, for some reason, just love to shoot me. And Banshees just love to come after me. So that's just something I've noticed that Banshees and Primes is they just hate my guts, man. They really do. I, I just don't know why. But that's why I like Cerberus so much, because the Atlas, I don't know, loves me. It never really messes with me. Or if it does mess with me, it's not a big deal. It's like, oh well, I got total cover, I'm okay. Um, but freaking the Gaff Primes. I mean, and out of all the enemies, the only two I don't like out of Gaff, which is surprising, I don't mind Hunters, I don't mind P Pyros, which a lot of people say they hate the Pyros, a lot of people say they hate the Hunters. I hate the Rocket Troopers. Oh my god, the Rocket Troopers are so annoying. Like, you can never keep your shield, as a, as a weaker, as a non-Krogan or as a weaker character in the game, you can't keep your shields against Gaff. Like, every wave you're going to lose your shield like at least five times. Um, you might not take any health damage, but you will at least lose your shields, and it's freaking insanity. All right, I'm gonna shoot another rocket. Um, but yeah, you know, it's freaking insanity. Like you just, ah, oh, man, you get so messed up when you play as um, you, you really do. You just like against Gaff, the Gaff will mess you up as any weaker, at least as a Gaff especially. Uh, I know that sounds confusing, but <laughs> that's what happens when you have Gaff on the Gaff crime. Um. But anyway, yeah, it's just, it's, it's so retarded. It really is. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, I just hate the Gaff. Like, I can't stand the Rocket Troopers. Hunters are really whatever. They're annoying, too, don't get me wrong. Same with the Pyros are annoying. But yeah, the Rocket Troopers and the um, Primes are the two that I really can't stand the most. Because they always just screw me over. Um, I'll get shot every five seconds by rockets to totally take my shield down and then i'll just get wrecked this is what will happen all right now here's that all right remember earlier i was talking about um right here i'm gonna get dropped but remember earlier i was talking about the shield power cells are really good with this guy well that's the reason why it's because like i said it's better to have it's it's better to have any shields than no shields and that's the thing like if you have just a little little tiny bit of shields against like a prime or a hunter he will, he'll have to actually shoot you to get your shields down before, before he'll do any, like, health damage to you, which is awesome. That is, like, what's up. So, that's the reason why it's so good with power cells. Um, here we go with the freaking hunter. Oh, my God, I cannot stand rocket troopers, man. Just even looking at this right now is making me rage because I just hate those stupid things. Um, <laughs> like I said, it's not even, a, like, oh, God, whatever. All right, anyway, um... All right, guys. Um, now I know that a lot of you guys are gonna be expecting me to come out with it. You built it um, pretty soon here, which I will be coming out with it somewhat soon. I'm not gonna make it a weekly series. I might make it every, just really whenever I feel like it. I don't really know. Um, just because like the the one that was picked, it sounds it sounds interesting, but it's also I'll tell you what it is. And you tell me what you think, because I might not use it. Because I mean I don't know. Um, this is what it is for the You Built It series. The next one is, like, from the votes and from, I guess it, it sounds kind of cool, or, or well, I don't know. But the whole idea is that, all right, 
we would play like me and my squad, me and my team would play as um, a human, and I would be the human, a Asari adept, a Quarry engineer, and a Turing soldier, and f pretty much the whole idea would be it would be Shepherd squad. So I would be Shepherd as like a human soldier or just a human anything, but mainly probably soldier, probably my William Wallace build. Um, and I'm gonna die right here. That sucks. But anyway, so that's one thing is, um, so I would be like Shepard and someone else would have to be Liara, someone else would be Garrus, someone would be Tali, and everything would be kind of based off of like their weapons and like, like a gear, like the, the Turian soldier would have to have a sniper and an assault rifle and the Quarian engineer could have like a shotgun and pistol or just a shotgun. Um, and the Asari can just only, can only use like a pistol and maybe an smg just depending so that that would be the thing and it sounds really interesting but the only downside <laughs> to me there's two reasons is that that's really not a build that's more of an idea for a video so that's the thing like i i'm not really digging that um because it's the idea of the series is that you built it like you give me a build to use either an idea for a build because like there that's there in the shepherd squad there is no build there and then the other thing that sounds really lame is that, like, they're like, uh, yeah, we're going to have to um, you play, like, a live com and, and refer to each other as Shepard, Tali, and Liara and stuff. Like, I don't know, like, <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's a little too lame for me. I mean, I, I, I would do it because that's what you guys would want to see, but I don't know. So you guys tell me. So that's what's really delaying me on that series is that, the winner of that series was, like, well, from the votes at least, it seems like the winner of the series was actually the Shepherd Squad. But I just don't really know if I really want to do that. I want to know what you guys think. Because, like I said, it's not a build. It's not actually a build. It's just an idea. And, yeah, I just, I mean, yeah, it's going to be really awkward saying, Liara! warp <laughs> like i'm gonna feel like i'll be down to do it because i do use my connects a lot but still like it's gonna be the same thing but with people i mean it's gonna be crazy um so yeah just let me know what you think of that but anyway guys this video is uh wrapping up here um i really love the geth engineer harrier build it's amazing both ways bo both the builds both the two different ways are really good so you can try both if you want and see which one you like. The only downside, you're going to have to use reset cards to do that. Which, um, But I have tried them both. I like this build more, but I also like the other one a lot. That was my original idea for this guy. Um, and then I switched over to this because I just like the more offense um, than defense, personally. But it's really just up to you guys. It's, that's the beauty of this uh, particular build and this video was to just give you two builds for one. So... Alright, well that's going to be pretty much it though guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please comment, please like, please subscribe. And remember, if you want to be in the clan, just go ahead and give a friend request to bar jumping. And I will add you. So that's pretty much it. Um, have a nice day.